Hello guys, today I will teach you how to make your programs run faster and more efficiently without so many hurdles. Let's say we have Sony VEX Pro 8 open. We know that this uh, editing program is very intensive. It, it requires a lot of processing power and it if working with if rendering HD or working with AVIs on uh, not very powerful hardware, the uh, program is uh, apt to crash. It will, it may crash, and you know, it will hang a bit, and it is, that's very, that's very annoying. So let's open a task manager with Control Alt Delete, and the applications tab or or programs of what or whatever is the default one to close to not responding applications. But let's go to the processing processes tab and we can see everything that the machine machine is currently processing uh, we can see that the names of the processes are very strange because they are the true mm, program names like for instance let's say uh, messenger is MSN MSGR for MSN messenger and it's using a uh, 32 megabytes so we're going to close that because I want uh, to free up some memory so you keep looking for processes like I don't know um, let's say that let's say that we have opened the we have an iPod and we have iTunes and there's all the iPod, iTunes I, and you, sorry, sorry iTunes helper and or let's say uh, Apple mobile device Google update.xa all these things are really annoying and we're not using any Google or iPods or whatever right now so we don't need this um, we don't need these uh, things to be running and knowing uh, on, our on our memory so well I recommend you sort them by memory to see which which programs take up the most memory I cannot close Vegas because I want to use it I cannot close Game Recorder because I'm using it to record right now Explorer is the Windows interface so don't close that either but PSI which is a program I use or feed reader like these you can close them because they are really not they are not being used right now test manager is the test manager so don't close that yet um, close whatever you want to close uh, if you're not sure of what something is don't close it but what if that isn't enough then you go right click on the Be Vegas 8.0 process and you go to establish priority and set it to real time which is the best one you can also set it to high but I really uh, think that real time is the best for rendering videos and working with AVIs so set it to that the other programs will be affected they will run much slower but uh, since we are just working with Vegas, I think that it's good to let it take as much memory and processing as needed. If you want to open other programs, will you just establish a priority to normal back again or to a lower level, like high or like slightly higher, you know? Uh, and once you close the program, the, as you can see, the process is back to normal. Uh, normal priority you don't have to remember to change that back to normal so it's a very good way to do, uh, run your games and programs and render videos faster thank you